Hey guys, welcome back. I am so glad you're here. Welcome to the Heroic You series. And today what we're doing is a 40 minute full body combination strength. We're gonna work on a lot of combined moves today, upper body with that lower body. Now, today's heroic move though, will be just a straight up front squat. So what that does is that's gonna take that weight right on the front of your chest and you're gonna squat down and come up. And the key is going to be not to be leaning forward, but to keep that body nice and upright. And man, does that work that core. So I have a range of weights because I am doing this combined work. So I have my 10, my 15 and 20 pound dumbbell. So you want some lighter weights and some heavier weights and you make sure you grab a sweat towel drink and of course your great attitude. Let's get this thing rocking. Okay, so hopefully you had a chance to grab your weights, your sweat towel, your drink, and your great attitude. If so, let's warm up with just starting with those squats. Ooh, yeah. Whew. Nice and not necessarily going very low yet, just getting that body warmed up. We've got three more like this, two more. The last one, this time you're gonna touch down and reach up. Whew. Ooh, yeah, start getting that trunk and those arms in there. We've got three more like this, two more. Last one. This time we're gonna hinge down and drive it all the way up. Hinge down, keep those knees fairly straight and you're gonna hinge right through that hip and drive it back so you get a nice good glide in those hamstrings. We've got three more, two more. Last one, this time squat right here as you're touching down or close to it, down and up. Kind of glide those hamstrings a little bit more. Three more, two more. Last one, come on up and pull that leg all the way back. Stretch out those quads for me. Open up that chest. All the way back, come on, you got this. Three more, two more. Last one right here. Trunk rotation with the knee drive. Come on, you got this. Driving that knee, rotating that trunk for three. Two, last one. Oh yeah. Take those arms and throw them right up overhead and you're gonna just go right up one of those toes. Up and down, up and down. We've got three, two, last one. Let's go to the, um, right here, stepping over and lunging right here, down and up. Throw those arms up. Let's get those shoulders involved in that. Up and down, three two last one we're gonna go low and then we're gonna extend that knee down low extend that knee three more two more last one drop that back knee that arm that's on that front knee you're just gonna go all the way back and tap and there so you get a nice good rotation tap it back and over three two Last one, here we go. Other foot forward. Down and up in that nice good lunge. <sighs> Driving that up. Driving those arms. We've got three, two, last one. Stay in that low lunge and extend. Low lunge and extend. <sighs> We've got three, two, last one. Drop that back knee and then take that arm again and around and tap. Big circle with that shoulder and getting that trunk rotation in there. Three, two, last one. We're gonna go right here into quadruped. Sink those shoulder blades in and out. Oh yeah, and then come right here onto your forearms. Let's do a good little bit of a trunk twist for that thoracic spine. We're going up and each side. Two more, last one. Oh yeah, and then let's get those glutes activated. Right here, you're gonna take that foot and drive it up towards that ceiling and give me a nice good glute squeeze right there. Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna go out to the side, squeeze that glute for me. Come on, you got this. Five, four, three, two, one other side. Here we go. Drive that baby up right there. Five, four, three, two, one. 
two, one, drive it out to the side. Oh yeah, come on. Five, four, three, two, one, right here. Down into plank, into that downward dog. Pump those heels, walk it all the way back. Sit on low, open up those hips right there. Oh, feeling good. Three, two, one, come on up. Let's talk about what we're gonna do first. We're gonna do a sumo squat with a curl. So we're gonna take that weight. We're gonna tap it down, come up, hammer curl, hammer curl, or at the same time, and then you're gonna tap that weight. Keep that chest nice and upright when you do that. Whew, I'm gonna try my 20s at first. Okay, we're gonna get a nice good squat position. Roll those shoulders back. Here we go, three, two, one. Tap it down, hammer curl. You can tap it down and you can hammer curl each side all the way up. So you're gonna tap that weight down, nice, good. Then you're gonna come up, hammer curl where you keep that elbow nice and tight against that torso, thumb up towards the ceiling. Ooh, yeah, right there, baby. Down and up, like I said, combined work today. We're gonna work for 45 seconds. I wanna go twice through. 10 more seconds of this, tap down. Here we go. And we've got three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so you're making sure you're driving those hips back, sitting right over those heels, tapping that weight down, coming up, hammer, hammer, or hammer at the same time. Here we go, one more set. In three, two, one, hammer curl. Nice and controlled, tapping it down, coming all the way up, curling it curling it, getting those biceps, getting those guns fired, working those legs. After this, we're gonna do our heroic move with the fret squat. Tap it down. Come on back, you got this. Fifteen more seconds. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, okay, shake those legs out. We're going back to the squat, but we're gonna do that front squat, right? Our heroic move. Taking that weight, racking it right there up on those shoulders. Chest is nice and upright. Drive those hips back, sit down. Drive that all the way up. Give me that full extension, not apart. All the way, pop those hips open. I want strength through that entire range. And again, your body's gonna want to lean forward. The key is to keep that nice and trunk upright. Work that core, baby. You may have to drop your weight because most of the time, limiting factor is actually your core, not your legs. So grab what you think you can do. Let's rock this. Here we go. Three, two, one. Sitting down, driving up. Give me that full range. And as you get a little bit stronger, you start working on going a little bit deeper. Okay, so today is strength, not speed. Okay, we're controlling that weight up and down. Okay, we're adding a little heavier weight. So you gotta control that the entire time. Nice and controlled. Okay, making sure you're not letting those knees collapse, pushing them out just a little bit, keeping them right in that solid hip. Okay, giving that nice good input of that hip joint. Down and up. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. One more set of those. Woo. Oh yeah. We're gonna work that baby today. <laughs> Having those sprinkled in. Oh yeah. One more set of these, are you ready? Three, two, one, sit down. Pop that back up. Nice and controlled. You got this. Oh yeah, come on. Sitting down, coming all the way up. We're gonna go down and do a chest press next with a bridge. So that combination work next. 20 seconds left. Come on, you got this. Keep that core nice and engaged. Keep that chest upright. As you go through the day, you may need to lower that weight to keep that form as you get weaker or get more fatigue, I should say. Here we go, five, four, Three, two, one, and rest. Ooh, 
love that word. Okay, we're going down on the ground. We're going down under our back with our feet up. And we're gonna do a nice good chest press all the way to the center and back down. At the same time, we're gonna lift and squeeze those glutes. Okay, so we're gonna come up, squeeze the glutes, and control it down. Do not let that glute, those butt fall down, right? You gotta control it all the way down. You get a lot of strength in the up and actually controlling that down. So I want with your chest and your glutes nice and controlled. Let's get in position. Here we go. Three, two, one. Lift up, squeeze the glutes, squeeze that chest and control it down. Exhale at the top, control that baby down. Really get that breathing down. It'll help in your strength, okay, when we coordinate that. That's part of our core is that nice, good diaphragm that helps us with breathing. And when we coordinate that, man, do we improve our ability to move that weight around. Come on, you got this. And to stabilize that core. We've got 10 more seconds. Lift up and squeeze, bringing it back down. Come on. Three, two, one, and a rest. Oh yeah, one more of those, baby. Yes, yes, yes. Keep that form. Here we go, three, two, one. Lift up, squeeze that glute. Really picture squeezing that glute and squeezing that chest. When we really focus on what we're doing, that mind and body connection is more effective in our actual um, activation of those muscles. Okay, we're more effective. We're getting more coordination between the two talking. That's important. Down and up. Oh yeah. 15 more seconds. And then guess what? Yep, we're doing that front squat again. Back to the heroic move. Up and squeeze and down. Nice work, come on, three. Two, one, and rest. Ooh, yeah. Okay, we've got the front squat next. You know what to do. Grab water if you need to. Okay, and keeping that weight right on that front chest, doing that nice good squat. Okay, grab that weight. We've got it right up here on the front rack position, and we're gonna ready to rock this. In three, two, one. Sit down, press back up. Whew. Okay, we're gonna do a lunge next. We're gonna do a lunge pass through. That means we're gonna lunge forward, and we're gonna pass that weight right underneath our leg, and then we're gonna do a shoulder abduction. That means just going right out to the side. So we're gonna use a little bit of a lighter weight, just some fun combination work. You got this. Come on. 15 more seconds. Give me that full extension at the top. Pop that hip open. Oh yeah. And when you do, you're gonna squeeze those inner thighs. Give me that guy's good glute squeeze. Oh yeah. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Whew. Oh yeah. We got one more of those. You're doing awesome. Not an easy move, I know. Heck, what? that's why we call it heroic, right? Here we go, three, two, one, down, and up. <sighs> Squeeze those glutes, okay, really activate them. They're a big part and they like to be lazy. That's why we activated them at the beginning of the workout. Okay, they like to be lazy, but they're so important. Strong part of our core. <sighs> Squeeze those glutes. Squeeze those thighs. Nice, good trunk upright position. You got this. 15 more seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay. Dropping down to my lower weight, just because that's what I do for shoulder abduction. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step forward. I'm gonna pass that right underneath my leg. 
I'm gonna lift out to the side, pass it to the other side, come back up. Step forward, same leg, drop it down, pass it through. You're gonna lift right out to the side, pass it underneath, lift it out to the other side. Burning off that right leg first, then we'll do the left. When you're lifting out to that side, remember you're gonna pull away to really activate that nice good shoulder. Here we go, three, two, one, step. Down, pass through, lift that on. Pass that through, lift it on up, press it back up. Come down, pass through, lift to the side, lift to the side, press through. Ooh, yeah. Working that leg and that quad, working that shoulder. Come on, you got this. We'll do the next side after this. Come on. 15 more seconds, dropping down. Passing that through just to that shoulder level. Passing that through and back. And we've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we've got the left side. Woo! Oh yeah, feeling good. Keeping that chest nice and upright as we do those nice, good abduction shoulder moves. Here we go, three, two, one, step down. Open that up, pass it through, open it up. Come on up, step down, pass it through. Lift and lift, press it through. You may be a little bit slower, you may be a little bit faster, just make sure it's controlled. Come on, down and pass. Nice work, come on, 15 more seconds and then yes, we're back to that front squat. I know, Woo, a lot of work with that today. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, grab some water. We've got that front squat next. Okay, and pay attention to your body. Okay, if that's starting to pull on that back, drop that weight, right? We're getting fatigued, we've been working those legs. You need to make sure you're paying attention to how strong you're able to keep that stable position. Oh yeah. Here we go. Front squat it is, baby. And we got whew, three, two, one. Sit down, drive it forward. Sitting down, drive that baby all the way up to the top. Okay, we're gonna do a Romanian deadlift next. That means we're gonna do like a deadlift just on that one side. Okay, like single leg. And the Romanian deadlift, the Romanian part of the deadlift means you're keeping that knee fairly straight. Your limiting factor will be your hamstring. Okay, versus bending that knee. And then we're gonna turn it into a shoulder press. Ooh, yeah. Make it a little more exciting. Here we go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. One more set of those. I know, a lot of front squats today. <laughs> That's our core work basically today. Here we go, last set of this. We're moving on to those deadlifts. Three, two, one, sit down. It's not the last one for the day, just to be clear. <laughs> We're not there yet. Come on, keep that nice and controlled. Chest is upright. This is where you have to start paying attention to your form, right? We're starting to get tired and we wanna make sure we're listening to our body. Come on, you got this, 15 more seconds. Oh yeah. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so we're just gonna use one weight for the next activity. We're gonna start on that right side. We're gonna hinge at that hip, dropping down and driving forward, okay? Like there's a pole going right through your hip and you're rotating, okay? My knee is fairly straight, it's not bent. Okay, it's fairly straight. I'm coming down, hinging. Taking that up, 
throwing it up overhead. Okay, hinging down. Like you're gonna shave your legs right there. That weight stays nice and close. Now, you may be a little bit more limited on your hamstring strength. I mean, on your hamstring mobility. That's okay. When you hit that mobility, pop back up. Shoulder raise. Right side first. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hinge down. Drive forward. Pop that all the way up. Down, up. <sighs> nice and control. Hinge that hip. You should not be feeling this in your back. Your glute and your hamstrings, yes, that's what it's targeting. <sighs> if you're starting to feel it in that back, I need you to drop that weight. It means your core isn't able to stabilize you and you haven't quite gotten that form down. You gotta get the form down and then you start adding that weight. Listen to your body and you may be more fatigued right now so your core is not as engaged as it maybe sometimes is when we're doing it at the beginning of a workout. Listen to your body. Be the best version of you. Here we go, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, don't get discouraged if you have to drop the weight. I do that all the time. You gotta listen to your body. There's so many factors in that. It's not anything about anything but you being successful for you. Left side it is in three, two, one. Hinge down, drive forward. That's why I show you my multiple weights, right? I have one idea but sometimes there's so many factors. Maybe you didn't sleep as well. Maybe it's because of all the workouts you have in front of you, right? We've done already quite a few this week. Okay, and it can make your body more fatigued. Not as much recovery yet. Don't be discouraged about it. Just know, hey, that means I just can't do as heavy today. But if I'm pushing my body where it says I can push it, that's when I'm gonna get the best results. I'm not gonna have injury. We're gonna push it to get it stronger though. 10 more seconds. <sighs> Come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Yes, you guessed it. Front squat is next. Yes, I can be cheery about it, right? I know you're like, I don't like the front squat. I know, I don't necessarily love it either, but it's such a good move because it's working that entire body, right? We're working that core so strongly to keep that nice and upright. And then we're leaning down those legs and strengthening them at the same time. I mean, who doesn't want all of that? It just makes you look really good. How's that sound? <laughs> and burns a lot of calories. So then you go, okay, well now I'm more into this. So let's grab those weights, let's do this. Here we go in three, two, one. Go down and up. It's always about what's it in for me? You gotta find those positives about what you're doing. That's what helps you find that joy in the workout. It's not saying, I love every moment of this. No, but I love the results. I love what I'm doing for my body. I love what I'm doing for my brain, right? I'm feeling accomplished, I'm feeling healthier. When I make those healthy steps by doing this workout, I make healthier steps in the kitchen. I make healthier steps in my mindset. It goes a long ways. And that brings you joy. That makes you wanna come back tomorrow. <laughs> come on, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and rest. Oh yeah. Woo baby. And part of the reason why we're saying heroic is because you're stepping up and doing this. That's heroism. Let's go in three, two, one. Sit down and up. You gotta be heroic to push yourself. You gotta be heroic to decide you're worth it and you can do this. I'm, you're taking the time out to do it. Let's do it right. Let's do it well, let's get the results. Down and up, come on. After this, we're gonna do a chest fly with a hip abduction. Okay, so a standing chest fly. Ooh, yeah. Down and up, well, you got this. 15 more seconds of this. So I'm gonna go down low because the chest fly is a long lever arm. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one and rest. Drop those weights. Whew, we're going down to one weight again. You can do two if you want to, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna take that weight. We're gonna have our palm facing up. We're gonna come up and across to the other shoulder level. Okay, my knee, my elbow is gonna be slightly bent. Protect that joint. Lift it up and cross. We're just gonna really create that chest, pulling that across. Then what we're gonna do is a nice good lift, abduction. Notice I'm not tipping my body. Just a nice good activation of that outer hip, keeping that knee straight, 
That foot flex, lift and squeeze. Here we go. Three, two, one. You can try doing it at the same time, or you can isolate chest and lift, chest and lift. Okay, we'll change sides after this. Lift up and squeeze it, and down. Lift up and squeeze. Just enough to really activate that hip and that glute. Oh yeah, baby. And down. Up and squeeze. Bring it down. Let's go 15 more seconds like this. And then we'll switch sides. Oh yeah. Lift up all the way up to that shoulder level and across. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh yeah. Woo, we got the other side. Okay, palm is facing the ceiling. You're coming up and across. Roll those shoulders. Here we go. Three, two, one. Lift up across. Lift out and squeeze. Make sure that knee is straight. That foot is flexed. Nice, good lift. Also working that trunk and that core to stabilize and that nice, good balance move. You know I love balance. Oh yeah. Up and back and squeeze. Now you may think this leg's a little more fatigued with that lift. That's because it was working hard to stabilize you while you were lifting, so you are working both legs. One's just working a little bit different than the other. Come on, 15 more seconds. And then you guessed it, that front squat is back. <laughs> Come on, we've got five, four, three, two, one, and a rest front squat. It is, baby. Whew. Oh yeah, grab some water, wipe off all the sweat if you're like me, sweating bullets today, working hard, just think about those calories that we're burning, okay, making sure you're paying attention, do you need to drop that weight down now, okay, making sure you're staying with great, for, great form, let's grab those weights, let's get in position, here we go, three, two, one, we're going down, and up. Sitting down, popping all the way up. Squeezing those glutes and those inner thighs, keeping that core nicely zipped up. Okay, nice, good neutral spine. Right, my knife, I'm sitting right over those heels. Chest is upright, not falling forward. Nice and controlled. Come on, 15 more seconds. You've got this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh yeah. One more set like that. Woo. Catch that breath. Here we go. Three, two, one. Sit down. Drive it up. Okay, the next activity, we're gonna work those triceps. But we're gonna do it as a shoulder extension. So we're gonna keep our elbows straight and extend that shoulder. We're also gonna add a curtsy lunge in there. So that's what we're gonna do next. Kind of picturing that. Maybe your medium to light weights for that. Come on down and up. 15 more seconds of this. Nice and controlled. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so you're gonna keep those elbows straight and you're gonna kick back. Okay, I want your palms facing back when you do that. Okay, so palms facing back, you're gonna extend those elbows and you're gonna just lift with that shoulder extension, driving and getting those triceps that way. Okay, so we're gonna do a nice good curtsy lunge where we come back, pop up, extend, come down, pop. Now, you, if you want to, you can just do that one side and switch the other side when we do that, or you can try both at the same time. That's up to you. Let's grab those weights. We're stepping back first with the left, so we work that right leg. Here we go, three, two, one. 
curtsy down and then extend. So you're gonna curtsy down, come back up, pull those shoulders back. And squeeze, really squeeze those triceps as you lift back. Okay, keep that elbow extended, extend back and down. Nice and controlled. Down and pop. Now I'm rotating to a neutral position in my hands when I do a nice good curtsy. Then I'm putting my palms back as I lift that back. Come on, 10 more seconds on this side. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. I'm gonna do that, nice good squeeze. We got the left side next. Okay, so when you lift back, you're gonna push, pull back, and you're almost gonna squeeze a little bit together. Just lift back and squeeze. Here we go, left side in three, two, one, step down, press, squeeze. Almost like you're gonna throw those weights back together behind you. Not quite, but just a little bit of that squeeze, activating that tricep just a little bit more. Down and up, and press. Ooh, yeah. Come on, you got this. Press down, all the way up. 15 more seconds on this side. Come on, nice and controlled. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, drop those weights, or whatever weights you're doing for your front squat. That's next. Whew. Again, continue to pay attention to your body. Grab those weights. Red squats are next. Oh yeah. Woo! Here we go. In three, two, one. Sit down, pop up. Down and up. Keep that chest nice and upright for me. You got this. Sitting down, popping all, all the way up. Nice and controlled, okay? Do not let your form slide. Keep that nice and tight core. Maybe slow it down a little bit if you need to, but control that baby. 15 seconds left. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh yeah, one more set like that. Oh. Ooh, yeah, baby. Okay, let's get in position. Here's our second set. We've got three, two, one. Sit down, pop up. Down and controlled. Chest is upright, nice and engaged. Upright, ooh, yeah. Coming down and up. Okay, we're gonna do a back fly next, and we're gonna do a leg extension. Balance, ooh, yeah. Come on. And then one more front squat. That's all we got, okay? We're seeing that finish line, right? 15 seconds. Down and up. Nice and controlled. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, I'm dropping to my lighter weights for this. Whew. And I'm also wiping all the sweat off of me so I can grip the weights. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna hinge down, nice solid back. I'm gonna lift and squeeze that shoulder blade, okay? When you are bent over, that butt is out. You're gonna feel those glutes activate. That is just your way of making sure you're taking that pressure off the back. We're gonna lift out and squeeze, and then we're gonna do a nice, good little knee, knee kick, I mean leg kick. Okay, lift and extend, out and extend. Okay, it's gonna work that balance a little bit and that stability, and that sounds exciting, right? <laughs> if you need to, just do one at a time on that back fly, or try for both. Here we go, three, two, one. Hinge down, lift back, right lip kick in the back. Just a nice good extension to that right leg. Kick that leg back, 
and give me a nice good glute lift, working that left leg to stabilize you in this position. Okay, and then also squeezing that back. So we're getting a lot of posterior movement here. We're getting that glute, we're getting that back, and we're getting nice good posturing mo motions, right? 15 more seconds. Nice work, come on, you got this. Really picture squeezing those shoulder blades and then squeezing those glutes. And we got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. If you're really fancy, you can try doing them at the same time. Somehow at the end of the workout, it's not happening for me. I've done it times, it's not happening this time. Left side in three, two, one. Squeeze and lift, squeeze and lift. Come on. See, that's me understanding me. There's times I've done it, but it's not today. I understand my body, I know where it's at. Right, that's what I'm talking about. Listening to our body of what it's saying today. <sighs> Lift and squeeze. Come on, 20 seconds. And then all we've got left is that front squat, right? We're gonna be heroic and finish strong. Come on, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Drop those weights, this is it. Right, all we've got is that last heroic move. We're gonna feel mighty fine. Walking right into that nice, good cool down, right? <laughs> Let's finish strong with this. Oh yeah. Okay, let's get in position. Here we go, three, two, one. Sit down, pop up, down and up. Right there, baby. Nice and controlled, keeping that chest upright. Keep that form. This is it, right? This is it. Seeing that finish line, I'm feeling good about that. <laughs> Down and up. Nice and controlled. Chest is upright, core is engaged. Making sure those knees aren't buckling. 15 more seconds. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh yeah, one more set of those, that's all we've got. Yes, I know, right? Here we go. Three, two, one, down, and up. This is it, this is it, okay? Come on, you got this. Come on, get them down. And up. Nice and controlled. Yes, we can see that finish line, right? Ooh, baby, you got this. Come on, stay strong, stay strong. Oh, yeah. Nice and controlled. Keep that form. You are almost there. 15 seconds left. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 10 more seconds. Way to stay strong. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest, drop those weights, oh, yes. Okay, we're gonna go into a nice good runner's lunge, drive those heel, drive that hip flexor up, lean right on over, oh, yes, that feels good. Then we're gonna pull that shoulder right across, drop it down, stretch that baby out. Drop that back knee now, Take that arm overhead. Give me a nice good tricep stretch. Still getting that hip flexor in there. And then take that arm, pull it back and give me that bicep. Oh yeah. Now you're gonna grab that foot, pull it back. We need to stretch that quad out. Lots of squats today with those front squats. Oh yeah. Keep it nice and upright. Pull that baby back. Use the towel if you need to for more range of motion and then straighten that front knee out. Pop down and give me a nice good hamstring stretch. And then come on up, runner stretch to the other side. Pull that over, nice good pull back. Oh yeah, hip flexor. Oh, and get the laterals. And then you're gonna pull that shoulder across. Drop it down, pull it across. So 
So get in that hip flexor and that calf. And then you're gonna drop that back knee. Take that arm overhead and give me a nice good tricep. Still getting that hip flexor, pulling that forward. And then you're gonna take that thumb, rotate it all the way down and then pull that behind you to get that bicep, that chest. And now grab that foot, pull it back. Let's stretch out the quad on this side. Nice work today. Yes, very heroic in those front squats. Let's straighten that front knee out. Hinge down, ooh yeah. Nice work, come back up. Take those arms, make me a nice good C position. Push, 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 push. Come stand up while you're doing it. Push through that C, and then you're gonna lift it all the way up. And you're gonna pull to the side. Big exhale, and you're gonna pull to the other side. Big exhale, then you're gonna drop it down and let your head drop. Oh yes, let that back release, let those hamstrings release. We're right here, here we go. Three, two, one, roll on up. Give yourself a high five for rocking that way to do those front squats. I'm so proud of you and have a great day. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on this video. I am so glad you are taking part of this Heroic You journey. Yes, this is a program designed to set your fitness level to the next level, whatever that is. Is that being stronger? Is that having more energy? Is that leaning you down? Whatever is your journey, be heroic enough to take hold of it. I also wanna make sure you have success in this journey, so make sure you are subscribed and you hit the notification bell so you never miss another workout that is designed to make you fit and be that heroic you you were designed to be. Make sure you also know that I have calendars for every week in the links below and on my social media so you can really prepare yourself for what is a part of this week and what is your journey gonna look like. I also wanna make sure you know that there's a playlist so you can go back and you can do this in your own timeline, making sure you have success for you. What is your journey? What is gonna help you get to that next level? That is all this is about. It's about you being heroic and really getting to that next level and I'm so excited to hear your stories. Let's get this thing rocking. Oh yeah!